Shocked to the core, the late queen exhausted with Meg and Harry before she breathed her last breath. Neither Harry and Meghan nor the royal family are willing to give an inch in their estranged relationship following the Queen's death, a royal commentator has claimed. Writing for the New Zealand Herald, Daniela Elsa claimed that the events surrounding the Queen's funeral have, rather than giving hope for a future reconciliation between the Sussexes and the firm, done quite the opposite. Ms Elsa highlighted the claim that Harry used to regularly call the Queen after his move to America a link back to his family that now no longer exists. After the Sussexes moved to America, the prince remained in touch with his grandmother over the phone. The Queen's staff has claimed that in the early days of Harry's exile in America, the Queen would excitedly take his phone calls. Over time, this changed and she later became perplexed by Harry's complaints. With this link no longer available to the Duke, Miss Elza raises the question of how his relationship with his family will evolve from here. Harry and Meghan were seen reunited with Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, as they viewed floral tributes at Windsor Castle after the Queen's death. A personal friend of Queen Elizabeth spoke to royal expert Katie Nicholl about the late monarch's thoughts on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In the excerpt, Nicholl said she spoke to an unnamed friend of Queen Elizabeth, who told her that the Queen was exhausted by the repercussions of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's step back from the royal family. She was very hurt and told me, I don't know, I don't care and I don't want to think about it anymore, the friend of the Queen told Nicol. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back as senior royals in January 2020 and moved to California. After the interview with Oprah, Harry clarified that it was not the Queen nor Prince Philip who made racist comments about his son, and he and Meghan shared that they continued to speak to the Queen on FaceTime after their move to California. They also named their daughter Lilibet, which was the Queen's family nickname. Following the Queen's death, royal historian Robert Hardman told People that the monarch still adored Harry right to the end, and Harry adored her. However, after the Queen's death, we have not only lost a remarkable woman, but it is increasingly looking like any chance that there might ever be any sort of happily ever after for the Sussexes and the royal family. For Charles and William, the situation with the Sussexes hasn't just been hurtful and upsetting on a personal level, there have been real repercussions, particularly for William, whose young family has been thrust into the spotlight prematurely. He always expected Harry would be his wingman. There was a long-term plan in place for the brothers to work together and support one another. After Harry announced their departure, William summoned aides to address the future in what has been referred to by some in William's circle as the Anma Summit. But William and Kate also felt a sense of relief that the drama was gone when Harry and Meghan left, as a source told me. To this day, William still cannot forgive his brother.